Renuka, it's great to see you here today. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how did you become a chief product officer? Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, my career began in security. Uh, I was an intern and uh, I started in technical marketing uh, without knowing much about what that space was. And uh, I got sucked into security. So ever since I followed the evolution of security, back in the day, VPNs were hot. Then there was like firewalls, then there was intrusion prevention, network access control, uh, you know, HTTP, web secured gateway. So I have pretty much built every kind of security product that's out there. And I'm very passionate about solving the new and emerging security challenges. So that's been my, uh, my career for like 20 years, you know, just spending time on chasing new problems and solving new security problems uh, in the cybersecurity space. That's really interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Can you talk some about why you joined Ariaka? What is Ariaka doing that is really interesting to you? That's a great question. So what I believe is it's not that we don't know what security problems we need to solve. And there are a lot of great security technologies out there. And as I mentioned, I pretty much build every kind of a security technology that's out there um, at various companies. The biggest problem that I had was when I went to a customer to deploy that, uh, there was a lot of like pushback on implementing it because security is always like you're getting in the way of the business. So people were never willing to put security in line. And that was one of the biggest challenges uh, as a security practi practitioner that I faced. When I looked at Ariaka, Ariaka owns the network fabric. Ariaka runs a customer's mission critical applications. And customers trust, they, they trust Ariaka with, um, you know, with this network connectivity and you know, the entire network fabric. So solving the security problem of security enforcement wherever needed and you know, in the right way is something that's super easy for a company like Ariaka to do. So that is what got me like very interested in this um, in this particular um, architecture that Ariaka had, and the way I think about this is Ariaka has built a super highway on the internet without private core, and now we are adding more security to it. Like we are adding, say, surveillance cameras, we are adding access control with checkpoints, and we can do a lot more security and better security because we own the highways ourselves. So that is what got me excited to join Ariaka, and I, uh, I joined this role as, uh, as a chief product officer. Fantastic. Okay, let's switch gears a little bit now. Can you tell me about the problems that Ariaka is solving, and who is Ariaka solving these problems for? Yeah, see, the way I look at the industry evolution, uh, I, I think of it as uh, we were in what's called as an infrastructure era. So this was back in the day where uh, you know people were just getting on the internet 20 years ago. There was like routers and Cisco's of the world. Then we saw this massive shift towards the cloud and what I call as an application era, where people were like, "Hey, I, you know, I'm going to use cloud. I'm going to migrate to cloud. I'm you know taking my compute to the cloud." And not and now what has happened is people who have gone to the cloud they have figured that. Yes, I have solved my compute problem, but I still don't have the business agility that I need because I still have to take care of the network layer and the security layer. So what we are seeing now happen is um, customers are trying to have this conversions of, I've solved my compute problem with public cloud, what am I gonna do with my networking and security? And that's the promise as you know what SASE has. So SASE is this promise of delivering a combined network security where needed uh, to our customers. And not to mention, there was already this digital transformation that customers were doing. With COVID, the digital transformation got accelerated 10x. And now people are trying to figure out, like, how do I transform to, to get there? And how do I converge not just the compute problem that I solved, I really want to converge my other decisions of networking and security uh, to have the true business agility. So I feel we are in that in very interesting times there, actually, where we are trying to help customers meet their business goals. You talked about conversions earlier, but when we look at enterprise organizations, there are these silos that still exist between networking, security, and also applications. Does that have to change? How does Ariaka deal with these silos? It's interesting that you mention it. In fact, um, I feel just like the vendors are on a journey where we are kind of helping customers converge, customers themselves are on this massive journey. I'll tell you a story, like this happened 10 years ago to me. 
I was, um, I was in a big customer briefing and as a protocol, I always asked um, all the members and we had like about 10 people from a customer. I, as a protocol, I always asked them, like, which team are you from and how many of you are from networking team, how many of you are from the security team? And one of the leaders of that customer just stopped me and he said, everybody is from security team because security is everyone's responsibility. And everybody that works is uh, in the security team. And that was a very eye-opening moment for me. And what we have noticed over the period of time, and you'll also see this referenced in um, you know, some of the Gartner um, materials, where they say earlier there used to be five buyers. You know, there used to be buyers of like uh, infrastructure, different cloud architect, different network, different security people. Now we are seeing, like today, in like 2023, we are seeing like a couple of different buyers. But where we see the industry headed, like two years from now, is there will be a buyer who is going to be responsible for delivering business what they need, right? So to answer your question, yes, that used to be the case. But if you look at like a lot of our customers, they are getting, they are actually prioritizing business over all these different silos. Can you describe the unique approach that Ariaka takes to solving these problems that other solution providers can't address. Absolutely. So I, I feel it's about being at the right place at the right time. And I call this trifecta effect. So trifecta effect is um, right now, customers are looking for agility. Uh, everybody, especially post COVID, is actually focusing on business transformation, digital transformation, and they want to focus on what gets them you know, the fastest results and the most agility. So there's a tremendous amount of um, sort of like um, a momentum in the customer base to go towards this, what we talked about as conversions of networking, security, and compute. The second thing is the technology readiness. Believe it or not, even like five years ago, we did not have technology elements that could meet all these needs of a customer. So today, we are actually much better off in terms of conversions of different security features. About five years ago, you go to any customer, uh, they would have 65 different security vendors. And now over the period of time, the convergence is driving that. So Ariaga, as an example, we have security integrated in the network fabric. We do not have um, you know, one box for SD WAN, one box for a firewall, then you yeah, buy have another subscription for SWG. And by the way, there's another vendor that gives you Gatsby. We are today able to run all of these things in a single pass architecture. And this is thanks to our 10 plus years of investment in the infrastructure, in the technology. Uh, you know, um, the compute infrastructure has come, uh, come a long way as well. So the second factor of this trifecta is that today there is a technology solution that can actually meet the, the needs and the thirst that customers want us from. And the third thing which is quite interesting is customers want to do SASE, but they don't know how to do it. And you might have heard there is like, 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity space today. So there is an acute skill set shortage that we all have. So what Ariaka brings to the table is not only the technology elements that with the single pass architecture, with a distributed data plane and a unified control plane, we also hold our customer's hand with our managed services offering. So we help customers with complete you know, installation, like provisioning, um, you know, peacetime as well as wartime when the customer is under attack, like how do you help them? So Ariaka provides a complete package of not just the technology, but also the managed services uh, to, in fact, um, take that vision of SASE to, uh, to fruition. We meet customers where they are at. And each customer is in a you know, different stage of um, adopting cybersecurity practices. And, um, 85% of security breaches happen because of misconfiguration. They are not because you know, the firewall doesn't know what to do or doesn't, is not uh, doing the right thing. It's actually because it is misconfigured. So Ariaka's uh, philosophy is, as we do this managed services for our customers, we help customers um, through that journey. So if they own a, a firewall, from, firewall from a checkpoint, we actually manage that firewall from them. Uh, for them, if they have a Palo Alto, we help them manage it. As they go through the hardware lifecycle, and when it, the product gets obsolete, they roll it over into the into the cloud environment. We also have cloud connectors for Zscaler, for Prisma Cloud, for Netscope. So we make sure that 
we are not uh, trying to rip and replace what customers have, and we are trying to gradually help them uh, making sure that their security posture is always taken care of. And that's where we also collaborate with, uh, with our partners where we can give the log messages of different activities uh, to our SIM partners. We can give it to our customer SOC teams. Um, in fact, we had three customers who had a ransomware attack in the last six months. And we were, um, oh, the way we found out, or the way customer found out, uh, was actually there were um, activities between sites who had never communicated with each other. And Ariaka has, uh, we can take a look at like all the traffic across all the different um, customer communications. And we were like, this, this communication never happened in the last five years. Why suddenly this, you know, this site talking to the other side, right? So this is the, the benefit of integration of networking and security and the collaboration. So the fact that we could detect this activity which was abnormal, then was actually picked up by the SIM and you know, customers can uh, monitor their environment. Wow, that's really interesting. Thank you. Thank you.